Hey guys, this is Andrew with The Sandbox, and I'm gonna take you really quickly through the basic workflow for the video clips and the pictures that you've shot with the Ricoh Theta S. Now, this is gonna be a pretty short, straightforward tutorial, um, and pretty basic as far as what you're gonna do with the clips, because as even as I set up this video, there are huge changes, and there are breakthroughs coming through in, video, in 360 video editing software. And it's about to get to the point where, if it hasn't already happened, it's just about to get to the point where if you use Adobe, Final Cut, any major video editing software, you'll have free access to plugins that'll allow you to do some really good 360 post-production. And we have tutorials uh, available and in the works on sandbox.video that'll cover the, those finer points. How to add captions and visuals, you know, how to enhance or clean up the video, stuff like that. So for this video, we'll keep it as simple as getting your clips and pictures from the camera into your computer and ready for editing. Okay, so while the camera's off, we're gonna plug a micro USB to a USB cord into the bottom of the camera here and plug it into the USB port on our computer. And the camera should go right into USB mode in a matter of seconds. And from here, we can grab our photos and video files from our camera and um, transfer them onto our computer. Now, when we open our video file, one thing you'll realize is that it hasn't been stitched. You see these two fisheye lens images playing at once? That's because the camera doesn't stitch the 360 sphere images together, so we're going to have to do that ourselves. And to do that, we're going to use the Ricoh Theta program, which is available to download and install for free. Now, you can find a link to download the program on the Software and Digital Resources section of our uh, kit page for the Ricoh Theta, or you can use the installer file, which we've included in the USB stick that came with this kit. So when you open the program, you'll see a window that says drag and drop the spherical image, which we'll do. And you'll get a conversion window that'll pop up. So make sure you've got the right file. Set it to an output directory that uh, you can easily find check off the top and bottom correction box and what that does by the way is straighten out the horizon in your 360 video the horizon can sometimes appear curved or warped if you were holding the camera at an angle so you can fix it that way but all the more reason to use a good level tripod and when you're ready hit start now the amount of time conversion takes depends on how long the clip is. This one's really short, so it only took about 15 seconds. But just to be safe, I'd allow two minutes for every one minute of footage. And you can preview the fully stitched 360 video when it's done. And by the way, you can also uh, preview your still photos using the same process, although the photos uh, don't need to be converted. You can just take a look at them. So with that, we are fully converted now and we're ready to drop the video file into Premiere. Now the Ricoh Theta automatically adds 360 metadata to the photos and videos you import. But if you're editing multiple files in Premiere, you have to make sure that the finished edit you export has the right metadata attached to it. And uh, otherwise, YouTube or Facebook won't recognize it as a 360 video. Luckily, there are, uh, a f there's a feature in the export settings that you can check off called Video is VR. Make sure that box is checked and that the layout is set to monoscopic. So when you uh, hit export, the finished exported file will have all the necessary metadata included. And so the rest, all the post-production fine-tuning, uh, we'll cover in our tutorials on 360 post-production on our Sandbox blog. Thanks for watching, guys.